Welcome to Copy Code is OK, but you got to do it right. Hey, my name is Eric, and um, we all copy code. I do that. You know, whenever you, you want to try something new, you know, we find something somewhere that looks like it's what we need. We copy the code and try it out. Uh, whenever we need to do something similar to whatever we have done before, we find that and we copy the code. and and. This video is not about all the errors that you introduce by copying code, because I think that that's probably another video. Let me know in the comments below if that's a video you want to see. Uh, no, this video is more about where you copy from. Um, and I think there's, there's, there's basically only one place to copy from, and that is certainly not me or my YouTube repo or whatever it is. Uh, no, you got to copy the code from Microsoft. That's the, the secret use. And um, this is what I do because basically whenever I want to do something in Business Central, it's prob probably going to do something that is kind of similar of, uh, to a certain degree for what Microsoft has already done somewhere. In, in one of their app, in the base app, or, or so on. Um, and so let me show what I do. Um, here's the business central. And let's say that I have a task from, from a customer to create some sort of a journal. Um, like, like, you know, like the item journal, for instance. Um, and and the customer asks to hey there should be something you select at top and then you know the menu should be in the middle of the screen right but the, hang on the menu the action bar is always on top of the screen so why is it in the middle of a screen on an item journal and below then we have journal lines and then below that we we also got stuff um, and then for some reason, this, this page type has a weird margin arrow. And I don't know why this page does not have, this element does not have a margin. Uh, I have asked Microsoft multiple times and I just get a non-reply. Uh, anyway, so, so let's say this is what you want to do. So let's copy some code, right? Uh, and the easiest way to do this is to figure out, hey, we gotta we gotta look at this page. So we open the page inspector and we see that this is page number 14. Excellent. We can go into Business Central. <laughs> we can go into Visual Studio Code. And I have opened the base app here. Uh, you can see that because I have the brilliant a set al dev tools code outline whatever it's called uh, app installed i'm able to whenever i select a an app file like the base app it will load that app and it will tell you that this contains all these objects and we can go look at them so we know we, we needed to look at what was it page number 14 uh so we go look at page number 14. find page number 14 we can search for the number we can search for the name um i double click on that we get the code uh if if you are working in an app where the code is not available in symbols then hey you cannot do this but but i'm using base app and and that works fine um so, so now we're in the source code for item journal which is an excellent place to copy from. And the first thing we probably go on to copy in this case is that, huh, page type is worksheet. So this is not a list. This is not a something. This is a worksheet. And, and the page type kind of controls the, the, you know, the lay of the land, how a, a page is, is formatted and, and, and the whole layout of that. So we can see here that we have a batch name that's the thing that comes before the menu. Uh, so let's go and look and see. We have a we have a layout element, just as usual, right? Uh, action. We don't care about actions, and there's a bunch of triggers. We don't care about them right now. We have a layout section. In that, we have a content 
section and a fact box section. So we don't care about the fact boxes again here. So in content, we can see that we have a single field here. Then we have a repeater. Then we have a group. Aha. So in order to achieve this kind of layout, what I need to copy is, 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 is this structure saying, okay, I need a field. In this case, this, it, you can see that's current journal batch name, which is probably, if we go look for that, there's some stuff happening in journal management, but if we go look for that way down somewhere, um, here we can see that's just a, a global variable. Um, so if we want to implement the, hey, let's be able to select a journal kind of thing up here in this one, well, we can see that we gotta we gotta make some code on on lookup to make the lookup and then on validate we got to you know do whatever is needed to change the filter or, or show the records that we're working on. Um, but we can do that now. Now we know what to copy here. Um, and the repeater is you know it's just a repeater, but it's sitting at as the second element on the page, and then we have a group at the end that shows some some stuff, uh, not a very nice formatted group in this case, kind of looks weird on here, but uh, huh. anyway, um, item description, whatever that is in this case, but we know what to copy. Uh, so instead of finding some uh, some random page on the internet with uh, with somebody who made something else, if you want to copy the item journal, go copy the item journal. Another example here is oh let's say that we want to use the camera thing. How to so there's also a video by the way the video on on the camera uh, interface and and. Part of what I'm showing now is kind of what I did to figure out how to use the camera in order to create the video on the camera uh, pieces. But, you know, we go in here and I'm actually not sure I have the camera ability turned on right now in the browser. Um, but normally it shows up here as take picture or something like that. So I would do the same thing again. I would grab the... Um, the page inspection figure out that this is page 785. I'll go back to our friend here and do 785 customer picture. And I will look in, in action in this case. And there's an action called take picture. We can see that that is and it says visible camera available. So somewhere camera available is probably being set on open page that calls into the camera code unit and ask is camera available? Pretty nice, might as well copy that. So so our whatever f f uh, picture thing we wanna create is not showing up unless there is a camera available. Um, then it says take new picture. And if we go look at that, we can see that well, we got if camera get picture in, into a stream. And then in this case, we just import the stream into our our uh, media field on, on, on the customer record. Uh, but but this is, you know, um, this is very, very co cop copy able code right here. Ah, it's, it's, it's not a big deal to implement uh, the camera because Hey, it's just to copy this code and then figure out where to uh, to put it instead. Um, and the advantage of copying stuff like this is that you're actually copying production code. You're not copying code that some random YouTuber created to 
give you an example of how something works. You're copying the production code that works in Microsoft's product. Uh, and normally, well, you should probably not copy Microsoft's code You should, in, in that case. But in this case, you should copy Microsoft's code because this is the proper way to do most of these things. Uh, that's a couple of exceptions. Do you want a video on exceptions? Let me know. Um, but but in most cases, this is the this is the gold standard. This is the code that you should copy. So if you want to create a journal, you know, copy the journal stuff. If you want to create the photo thing, do that. If you want to implement something else, and it it does kind of something that looks like it in 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 one of the, one of the running apps, go copy that. Uh, the result will be way better than copy code of some random internet page. Anyway, when you're done copying, I suggest you check out this video because that has been chosen especially for you. See you there. Take care. Bye.